Welcome back guys, Sulfin here, and in this video I'll be unboxing a G903 by Logitech, and this is actually a wireless mouse. So I've been looking for a wireless mouse to replace my G502, which is a wired mouse, which is right here next to um, the box. So I'll be comparing them side by side once I do open it, but basically this is probably a very well designed mouse that I've really enjoyed. but. I don't really like the cable because I'm really bad with cable management and then sometimes I'm using the computer and I tug on it, you know, so I'm happy to get rid of the cable, so hopefully it works very well. Um, I've heard good reviews about it, it's not cheap, but it's very good and yeah, it's, it's also compatible with the power play, which I might be doing in unboxing pretty soon, so stay tuned, but for now let's go ahead and look at the box. On the front you see a design which is very similar to the G502, let me show you again. So it's very similar, um, yeah, you get the Lamborghini stuff, you know, but anyway, let's look at the back. It says it has wireless 2.4 GHz wireless technology and it has 12,000 dpi which is the same speed as the G502. And let's see. So it has all this stuff. You can read it if you want to. But yeah, let me go ahead and open it up. So I do have a different kitchen knife this time, but it's still a kitchen knife. It looks like I don't own a knife anymore. It got lost somehow. So I ordered this mouse like almost two weeks ago, but it was delayed because of snow supposedly, even though that's not true, but at least I got it today, so. So yeah, it looks like it's in a very nice box. Once you open it up from the seal, you have this nice looking box. I'll put this aside, we don't need it now. But you get this very nice looking box. Ooh, okay. Let me take the camera a little down so you can see what's going on. So once you open it up, the very first thing that you see is the mouse. So it's a, whoa, it's like a very, very light mouse. I think they do have some weights that you can put on it. Because this is way too light. Yeah, okay, so once you open this bottom part up, you get a manual. Or, I don't know, it's like an instructions manual on how to set it up. But... Underneath that, you do get some weights, I believe. This is usually where the weights are at. It just adds a little bit more weight to it because this is like feather-like. It's like there's absolutely no weight. Let me take off this thing. Yeah. Okay, so let's open this up. So inside, we have the little weight on it and let me see if I can figure out how to put it on there's way too much plastic on here um maybe this is how you put it on actually let me look at the instructions really quickly Okay, so it looks like you just put it underneath. And just like that, you have a little extra weight. Let's see if it, ooh, it's like magnetic. Okay, so you do have a little more weight and it's very similar to the G502 now. So yeah, it gives it a little weight to it. So let me put them side by side just so you have an idea and so I don't forget to do that. But they're about the same size. They do feel very similar, but um, it doesn't have this angled thing to the side, which is actually very nice because when you're sliding your um, your mouse around, your finger isn't like sliding with it. Um, this doesn't have it, so um, yeah, I, I don't think I'm gonna like it as much because of that thing missing. But it does feel comfortable anyway, and 
Yeah, it's not too bad actually. So I think it does have the infinity thing. Yeah, which is very helpful when you're scrolling down a lot. So this one also has it. So it just keeps scrolling for a while. So, so yeah, let me go ahead and keep looking at the items in here. But I think this is like a replacement thing for the side buttons or something. I'll have to look into it, but it looks like the side buttons to me right here. And this is a USB. You plug it into your computer and it makes your thing wireless. So I think that's what it is. Um, yeah, actually it, it's this little thing over here that makes it wireless, not, not this. So you just plug this little thing on your computer and suddenly you have wireless going on. So I'm not too sure what this is for. It might be like a charging cable thing. Um, yeah, we'll see. So there's, there's nothing else in the box. But there is a cable in this other box. So I believe that you just plug this into your computer and you can charge the battery of this mouse. So um, you plug it in from the front like this. Oh, this thing is very confusing. Okay, so just like that, you, you plug it into your computer and actually not just to your computer to any outlet and you can charge it um, and the power play is basically like a mat that charges your mouse while you're using it so I'll be doing an unboxing on that later on but for now I wanted to show you guys this but let me go ahead and um, charge it plug everything in and I'll be back with you guys in just a second okay so I'm back the mouse actually had some charge already in it, so I didn't really have to charge it at all. Um, it was like 70% full. So, I mean, it looks very similar to this other mouse. It also does the RGB thing on it, and the battery life is probably better than you would need it uh, for. So, it looks very nice. It doesn't look quite as clean as this one, but I mean, it's, it's really good, and it's very liberating not to have this huge cord hanging out from it so I mean I'm, I'm really gonna like it actually um, I wish they had this side thing but I mean you can't get everything even though this thing is not cheap but I mean it's, it looks awesome um, with this thing you can actually change the speed so if you put it up it makes the mouse go faster on your screen and then you can yeah you can do that to make it um, a little slower you can click this to make the scroll thing infinity which is the same thing that you did with this other one except this only had one button to change the speeds so when you clicked it it changed the speeds and it showed them um, it showed the lights on the side on this one it shows the lights up here and it has an up and down so I think this is more efficient because um, with this you have to scroll through all of them you have to click several times with this you may only have to click once um, at most usually so on the side the, um, in gaming usually you can use these buttons for um, some extra like reloading or to make the to make your mouse go a little slower this one had a there its own dedicated button so if you click this button right here it made the mouse slower so it made it easier to aim on screen uh, this one doesn't have it at least that I've noticed so yeah it doesn't seem to have one so that's gonna be annoying especially if I'm playing like a shooting game uh, because usually I just press that button and it made the aiming way way easier but I'm really gonna miss this button to be honest and I don't know I may have to switch to this mouse when I'm doing those types of games but it's gonna defeat the purpose of not having a cable you know so I don't know, it seems like I'm really gonna like this mouse, but there is some flaws to it. I mean, I don't know why they couldn't have added uh, like that extra button right here, just like this. It was very useful. Yeah, but I mean, it's a really good mouse. So thank you guys very much for watching. And remember to like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.